Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Dungeon Lords. So we're getting close to the end of the game. Last time I had struggle getting past the bug, but I was able to get past it. So let's get this loaded up. Let's see. Jane first. 603, 745. July. I guess it's this one. Hey there, Jimmy. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Can't wait to see if we are able to cheat the game that cheated us. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I have to figure out where I'm going. I have no idea. I'm going to see if this big stone thing in the middle has, has a door somewhere. Let's see. Inserts jump. There we go. So let's see if there's a door anywhere on this big mountain. So we're just trying to find an entrance to a dungeon or a mine or something. I have saves from two years ago, yeah. I took almost, I took more than a year off from playing this because I got stuck. And that does not make for good streams. Okay, we're looking for something. I don't know if it's going to be in the ground. Nothing up here. Nope. Assuming I don't need to climb this. Probably can't. Nope, too steep. Let's go back by this mountain thing. Oh, tree hunts. Let's try to avoid those. Surprised didn't uninstall and lose all my saves. <laughs> you mean like a rage quit? Rage uninstall? Something over here, maybe? Nope. Okay, let's get out of here before those trance get me. Okay, there's a section of land down here, too. Let's double check it. Nothing here. We're going back around to where the stone guys were, so it can't be this direction. These are the guys we had to bypass because of the bug. There's the treants. Oh man, they're spooky. Okay. 
Okay. It's a big stone here. Let's check it, make sure there's not like runes or something. Huh? There's another stone thing down here. Let's check that. I assume we don't have to climb any of these or anything. Hope it's not going to be a stream of me just running around all the time. It's another mountain. Well, that's to the side. Can't be over there. At least I wouldn't think it would be. I just fell into a cave or something, but that's just a big hole in the ground. Hmm. Can I climb this thing? Oh no, I'm getting stuck again. Okay, we got something coming up on us. Let's switch to... Fireball. Got a bunch of them. It's like undead coming toward us. Skeleton warriors. killed most of them before they could even get me. Okay. What are we looking for? I looked at the physical map. This is where I'm at. The swamp. I don't see anything that looks obvious on it. Pretty little flowers. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd find a cave.
Okay. Over here. I've already been back there because there's no bug of war, so there can't be anything there. Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. You're a 6 out of 10, all right. I was going to ask how you're doing, but you already answered. Uh. Okay, what about over here? Hmm, this tree looks weird. So it's just a, a knot in the tree. There's a castle. There's a castle. Ah. Uh, nice. I'm scared. Let's check out it around the side first. Look at these cool lines. Can I climb this? Nope. Better save it. Okay, well, the door opened for me. Enter the maze of Erythimble. Here we go. What? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to try to run through this thing, dive through it. Turned into an action game. Oh! Oh, cool. Minotaurs or something. They're getting hurt by these. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Let me try to get a little closer. Let me see if I can shoot through here. Yeah, they are Minotaur. Well, let's kill them before we try to run through there. He's defending with his axe. That's cool. <laughs> I wonder if this is an insta-kill situation with these, like Wizardry 8. I could try... my guardian angel thing and see if she'll go in there after him. Uh, not ready yet. He was going to try to charge me. Got him. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Let's time this. Okay, they end up going together eventually. That's when I need to jump. Well, we took some damage. They didn't kill us, though. They caught us on the leg.
Oh, this is a repeat location. I like it. Ooh. What is this? Troll giant. This is really cool. It's like a maze. He's got an arrow sticking out of his head. Forty two thousand experience. Hey Gabe, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What is this riveting counter combat encounter? This is Dungeon Lords. Moody says this is amazing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do our maze trick and we're gonna make it through this by just doing the maze trick. Man, this this reminds me of um Dragon's Lair right now. Okay, I should do the fire thing here. I have a ward against fire. Dead end. It's going to be brutal. Perhaps remind you of Prince of Persia? The root textures for the maze are pretty convincing, Gigo says. Yeah, this game is, is absolutely incredible for when it was released. 2005. D.W. Bradley. Look at that thing, that's cool. Ah! Oh. There was a monster there blocking the way. I couldn't get through. the right one okay oh yeah I played it I took over a year off from this game because of bugs Made it that time. Okay, we're gonna try going that direction. Did that end also? Oh, it's brutal.
need to get that. Oh, this was the dead end. Ah, oh, okay. All right, let's get this wood of fire cast again. Oh, you have a fever, Moody? Oh, that's not good. Fever for dungeon lords, I hope, Jimmy says. Mind you, of long breaks from games and being like, it has really been three years when I pick them back up. Yeah. I couldn't get past one part. I didn't know where to go. But it ended up being a bug. And when I looked it up, like, I did what was right. But I didn't know it because I was getting stuck by a bug. So anyway, I got past all that finally. Yeah, this is a problem. Let's see if I can stand up here and get away from this guy. He's got like a breath attack that comes out. Need to cast something on him. Uh, brain hands. Flamethrower. I think that's reaching him. Okay, that's that dead end I was already in. Oh man, this is really a pain. Vorloth. Now, uh, Gabriel says, by the way, what are those offline Bard Sale videos I've been releasing? Um, I usually stream. Bard's Tale, and sometimes I was playing offline, though so those were like supplements, so that in case someone wanted to see the the full playthrough, you know, that's what those are for. What in the world is happening to us, Jimmy says, yeah, we're getting pummeled, that's what's happening. Yeah, I'm actually, I started on a Bard's Tale Trilogy mod. I'm balancing all the games. I'm going to make them a lot more fun. Make, make spells useful that were useless and get rid of some of the crazy tediousness of some of the monsters in the, toward the second, the end of the second Bard's Tale and then the third Bard's Tale. So I've been doing a lot of hex editing and Analysis of the game files of the Bardstill trilogy, but that's that's really exciting. There's a lot of balancing that needs to be done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these traps are crazy, aren't they, Gabriel? Moody says, "What do you usually do during those offline?" I'm just not on camera, I just play the game. Hey Cody, welcome to the stream, how you doing? Are you going to port Bard's Tale to the Wizardry 7 engine as well? No. Oh, that's funny, Cody. How you doing? Doing well? Awesome. What have you been up to? I haven't seen uh, Cody or Gabriel for quite a while. Okay, cool. Got that thing out of the way. Now let's see if we can get through this.
Well, we got through it, but we took an injury. Oh, well, we're not hurt that bad. Okay. Crazy maze, what do you have waiting for us? I really feel like I'm in the shining right now with the hedge maze and the dead ends. Jimmy says, as long as it's not insta-kill like in Wizardry 8, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a bunch of BS. Yeah, we actually didn't take much damage there. What's around the corner? Oh yay, flamethrower and... There's a red skull there. Hmm, I wonder if we're supposed to take that. That's cool, it's like a gargoyle. Ah! Giant scorpions from behind. Doom scorpions. Okay. You're busy? You're moving soon? Cody? Festival season is upon us. I work a lot of festivals, so it'll be a crazy few months. Cool. Gabriel says, yeah, I never get notifications when you're online, but I just realized there's a browser notification setting I had to manually activate on Twitch. Yeah. You can do emails, too, and then um, I post on Discord, but that, I don't know if you can even get notifications on that. Moody says, in my opinion, you should be able to reload even for Iron Man for insta-kill traps. Yeah, insta-kill traps are something else. Alright, let's get this cast again. I don't know if I'm supposed to try to take this. Inventory full. I can't pick up a jewel. How do I get rid of stuff in my inventory? I think I picked it up, didn't I? see it okay how can I drop stuff drop no I don't want that really you have to drop like away I got a lot of cool looking weapons, I have no idea what they do. Helmet am I wearing? Pro Petrify 50%. Plus 12 armor. This is Pro Fire 30%. I think I'm going to equip this right now. Okay, I gotta find something else to drop. Target shield, we don't need that. Okay, is that enough? What? There, I got the jewel. I'm stuck. Okay. 
Oh! That's a big axe. Wow. wow. Do you have a Walmart shield? <laughs> you finally changed that gold helm? Yeah. I have I did. <laughs> uh, this is actually a downgrade on armor, but it's 30% fire resistance, so hey. Let's equip it for now. Okay, so I got some kind of gem thing. I don't know what that is. Man, this is a tough chest to open. 65%. Let's see. Looks like 4, 1, 3. 4, 1, 3. 4, 1, 3. Four, one, three. And a minotaur. Ah, it makes sense. Yeah, minotaurs do like labyrinths, don't they? It's kind of cool. Okay, I need to drop more stuff. Let's drop it over here. Let's see. That doesn't look very strong. Elven Night Dagger. I don't know what that helmet is. 100% gas resistance. I better leave that. This looks weak. I don't need that. What shield do I have right now? Pro magic 100%, but you have to parry with it, I believe. Haha. <laughs> Why do Minotaurs like Labyrinths? I don't know, Cody. I'm sure there's some kind of logic behind it that I'm unaware of. Jewelry. What is the jewelry I found? Hmm. Jewelry am I wearing? Pro fire. Restoration. Pro gas. This is the thing I found. Identify. Did it work? ID chance 0%. Okay, we don't know what it is. So I'm not going to try to equip it. Man. I think regen plus 30. Uh, I think this will be better. Plus 4. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, save. So we found our first jewel. I guess we're ready to head back through the traps. Alright. 
There's such a delay on the, the jump. I just can't time it right. Another dead end. <laughs> More monsters waiting for us. Giant spider. Oh, 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 did you see how many tree tree ants were there? And this is gonna hurt. I didn't even reach him. Do I have a summoning? Nope, out of charges. I take on one at a time. They knock you back when they throw their branches at you. It does pretty heavy damage. Let's see if I can prevent that. One down, six more to go. This, this would be a good place to have summons. Let me see if I have any kind of summon. I have one charge of summon giant. I did. The giant didn't appear. Summon Guardian. Hmm. Maybe you can't summon inside our rats. Okay, the rats appeared. They're going to die like instantly. Go get them, rats. <laughs> we'll get the trance. Get off my feet. Look at this one. He's like... Following my feet. I have to kill it. <laughs> it's so weird seeing a roll without iframes in 2023. Okay. This is super dangerous. I wonder if I can get past them. We just run past them. That that would be super hard to get through. Oh, dead end. I love how the, the minotaurs and monsters get stopped by these gates, too, though. That's really cool. Yeah, I tried to torch them. They have so many hit points, Gabriel. The spells just don't do enough damage.
Hey, Ermin, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You know why the tree came to you? His buddy hit him. <laughs> That's what it was? I missed my chance. Giant Copper Scorpion. Wow, that's cool. Holy moly, he's got a lot of hit points. And he's stuck in the wall. Copper Scorpion, that's really cool. points. I'm playing Castlevania for the PlayStation 2 reminds me of your good times with Castlevania 3. Are you playing the first Castlevania game? Scorpion tail acquired. Okay. I knew that was going to be a dead end. Hey, Grunk, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I like to think of it as an unrelated monster whose, sky, whose sign is Scorpio. <laughs> the 3D Castlevania? Are you talking about like the one that was on Super Nintendo? Is it kind of like that? Super Castlevania? Oh, what is this? Moon Beast. That's new. This one's just watching. That's how I got my first Moonstone. Nintendo 64 had a couple 3D Castlevanias? Really? Is it any good? <laughs> Cody says that's the one where he has a sword instead of a whip. Yeah, the one was wait waiting politely. For me, that uh, moon beast. Oh, channel. These are pain. Okay, good. We killed it before it got its breath attack. Good and.
Just hit another gun in now. Stun me. She loops around, okay. big this maze is going to be. the first one of these I killed through a wall. It took me like a half an hour. Now we can do so much damage. We can kill it in a minute. to these is that another crystal thing maybe I'm supposed to put the gem thing in there This is not gonna be good.
Have our guardian angel destroy him. She's getting cut. She can't make it through. This is probably going to be hard to... Oh, this looks different. It's probably going to be hard to figure out where we're going. Alright. It's another one of those jewels. Yeah, we got it. Should we even try to open this? I guess. Cody says, I'm thankful that labyrinths and procedural generation were never really popular game mechanics at the same time. <laughs> there was some like that, but yeah, not too many. Okay. We got a bunch of monsters waiting for us too right there. Let's see, we have... Three... Four. Three, four, one. Dragon Helm. something else oh just money so i don't know if any of that stuff's better than what i have probably not shield that's a weird looking shield so is that This 
This is gonna stick with what I have. I have no idea. Warlock. <laughs> what the heck? It was laying on its side. Oh, I'm knocking it over. Herman says, so is Dungeon Lords a game you played when you were young? No. First of all, this came out in 2005. I would have been... about 30 years old. But no, I just played this, started playing this game maybe three years ago, something like that. Uh, it was gifted to me by Christopher Robin, one of my uh, longtime supporters and a friend dead end dead end again demonic hound You were lucky to find a second wall texture. I'm probably missing something. Oh, you're saying in a, the older games like Daggerfall? <laughs> Gira says, man, buying and receiving these old games is such a treat. Yeah, he bought me the collector's edition. Um, this tin. And it's actually made out of tin. Got all the, the goodies with it. Physical stuff. There's definitely not many people have beaten this game. If you look online, there's like hardly none. No videos. Now here's another one of these things. Man, I wonder. I wonder if I have to go return those to that that weird statue thing. Maybe you have to have a whole bunch of these. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, another chest. Gosh, is this even worth opening, I guess? You love those editions? You could call them steel cases? Yeah, I hardly ever had any games like that. That were in like a, a tin or steel case. Okay. Trap is magic missiles. Hmm. Looks like two. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Whoa, that's a big club. Oh, that's cool. That bow looks pretty promising. Let me drop something. I'm not going to use this. I wanted to drop it.
Elven Night Dagger. Five to eleven. Stun twenty five percent. Fire Strike. Short bow. We're not using that. Drop. Okay. It should be enough to pick these up. Must have got the other thing. I have an Elven Venom bow. Three to six damage. So we don't know what this does. It looks pretty cool though. We'll assume it's better. No, I've never heard of Ang Band, Cody. What is that? I don't see that big club thing anymore. Oh, it disappears over time. Okay, now, now we can test out this bow. Four damage. Three damage. Six. Oh, it has like a frost effect. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet. That's a nice bow. Freezes and does damage. Does the same damage as the Elven Venom Bow 3 to 6. But it has the freeze effect. Does it show these gem things I've been picking up? Three of them. They're considered keys. Sarcophaging jewel. Cody says it's one of those original rogue games, plays a bit like, more like Moria. 100 levels of minimalist labyrinth RPG action. Oh, no, I've never, never played that. It's a special item, yeah. Assuming I have to have four of them. Oh, hey, I placed a thing in there. 
Brum Brum Brun Egan. Yeah, that's what those are for. Okay. I go around the back side of this thing. You have to do both sides. That one's got like an eye on it. Hmm. So I guess you have to place it on a certain side on all those. I'm trying to get my camera adjusted here. Oh, it's one of those giant snake things over there. Look at that. See what it's called, I forgot. Giant Serpent. Oh, that's gonna take ages to kill. Oh my goodness. Hey, Mr. Spock, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Happy Monday. So the game Cody's talking about, on the 100th level, there's a Balrog you killed to win the game. Huh. Wow, there's a whole pile of monsters back there. That lift thing raised me up. See that? Is that thing still frozen? Look at it just sitting there. Nope, it's not frozen. Knocking me back. I couldn't do enough damage with my bow, that was gonna take ages. Probably gonna get poisoned again. Okay. Have to find more of those things. I can at least look at the mini map now. That one's got a yellow thing on it. That one does not. Oh, that one does too. Well, I know for sure I haven't placed a gem thing there. So let's go back there. Ah, it spins! That's so cool. It totally reminds me of the movie Tron. Place it. Using the jewel. Okay, we used the jewel. Nice. We shut it down.
channeler again. Oh. You're doing well, Mr. Spock? That's great. <laughs> yeah, part 31. We're, I think this is probably the last area of the game. I don't know that for sure because I'm avoiding spoilers. But we got all the artifacts we needed. That's why I'm saying that. I think this is the last artifact we need. I got stuck in the gate. I don't know if that was the um, Gunnler's breath attack pushing me into it or this guy glitched up and got me stuck there. Try that again. There we go. Come on. What am I stuck on? Camera's acting all wonky. Okay. It's a dead end. That's a dead end. So I don't need to go through that. It's a dead end too. Are you kidding me? That sucks. There's something behind me, what is this? I wonder if you can actually go up on these walls. Uh, are you talking about me, Gabriel? The movie I'm talking about? I'm not sure what, what part you were talking about. Where are these annoying channelers? Hey, Jeff. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, this area is pretty brutal. Tunnelers are the worst. Their breath attack prevents you from being able to hit them. Like this. I think I have this one left in upper right. One jewel thing left to place. You mentioned something reminding you of a movie, or maybe I misheard. Also, can't you employ an old trick of always following the left-right wall? Um, that's generally what I do. You, it doesn't always work because um, there can be a, an exit, like in the middle. You know, there could be a ladder somewhere else. Ladder going up or down, you know. 
final nine outside the wall. But in general, I do that. Okay, we did that one down there. Poison. Yeah, this is the last one that I can see. Stuff on the wrong side. You have to wait, I think, for it to stop on your side. This is funny. Maybe it always stops on the same side. doesn't. Using the jewel. We used it. Okay, now is there an entrance over here to the right? It kind of looks like it. Looks like there's something on the wall over there. Yeah, I think that that opened that up. Nice. Okay. Oh boy. What's well, coming? Sound up. <laughs> Zoom back a little bit.
That guy just kicked me. Maybe he says, like, playing Wheel of Fortune, always spinning bankrupt. <laughs> no, I did not want to go through that. this thing over here? Is that going to be a teleporter? It's going to be a teleporter. I better not do that yet. points we can use. I guess I'll just explore here. These guys don't look like they want to come through this door. Or do they? Yeah, they're coming up from behind. He has death acquired. I don't know if I want the key of it. Sounds like something we don't want.
That didn't open. Another portal. Oh, look, that, they're coming in through there. That's, that gates them in. Uh, no wonder there's so many of them. Your sword goes blue every time you're using it. Yeah, it has um, Rune Strike on it. The level eight magic weapon, and I have um, I have magic weaponry skill, so it's causing that Rune Strike spell to execute. It's got 35% stun chance too. Which is why a lot of times when I hit these guys, they seem to not be doing anything. It's because they get stung. I have my guardian angel woman up there healing me. Here. Okay. And you got the key of death. Got a gold left behind. Not that we need it. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, not D.W. Bradley. Yeah, that's Michael Cranford. Oh, it's open now. Still doesn't open, okay. Wait, what did that say? Go lock, using key of death. Is there another one? There we go. Leave the sanctum. Leave the oh, that's that's if I wanted to leave this. It's like Minotaur is getting in again. Holy moly! In the corner. I can open that.
probably have to be quitting very soon, guys. I feel this batch of monsters there. Man, that's... That's tense. Fighting almost the whole time. Great progress, though. Alright. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.